Okay, after many hours in frustration and uh, looking everywhere, YouTube, um, Reddit, for car audio forums, everything, um, I purchased a uh, KWM560BT, I think that's the model number, um, it's a JVC uh, digital only, no... Uh, no CD discs, lot, all that good stuff. Anyways, I purchased one of them from Best Buy uh, Friday. Installed it Saturday. Did great. So today I had this wonderful idea. I'm gonna update the firmware and see if it gives me anything extra for, uh, features wise. So I use this flash drive right here. Eight gigs. I know it's it's huge. I've had it for years. I downloaded the file from JVC's website and uh, hooked it up to my USB plug I got in the floor from the back of the radio and it downloaded the first update fine. Um, I think it was MCU. I clicked on the other one, I think it was ARC, and my screen went black. So I was freaking out. So shut the car off, crank it back up, it's still doing the same thing. It would show the blue lights for all these over here but the screen was black um majorly freaking out total freaking out so i thought okay um i'll uh i'll unplug my battery i did that for 10 minutes still having the same issue and if you look right here there's a tiny hole where you can stick a, a little tiny pin in there and you can reset it man i held that button for like 20 seconds and I got nothing. Um, still the black screen over here with the blue lights. So I got to looking a little bit more and I stumbled on JVC's video of how to download and I said, maybe somebody in the comments has, has the same issue I had. So I look in the very comment, very bottom comment, the guy's like, hey, this is happening to me. My screen's black now, what do I gotta do? And JVC actually responded to him, it was about two months ago. And they're like, hey, um, try a different flash drive. And the guy's like, no, you're not understanding me. The screen is black. And then JVC responded again and said, no, listen. There's a file in that update that is for resuming the update if this happens. Something's wrong with your flash drive. So try a different one. And the guy never commented. So when I found that, I was running trying to find another flash drive. And I found one. I found this newer one. I think it's 16 gigs. I've had it a while as well. But um, I put the same update I had on the first flash drive on that one and I put it in there. Cranked the car up. It sat there for a second. And I was like, please work, please work, please work. And uh, it resumed the update and uh, put it back on the, you know, first time turning it on screen, the installation screen, whatever. I'm not politically correct if you haven't figured that out yet. And uh, it works. Um, there's really nothing about this issue on the internet besides this one guy's comment, or girl, I guess it could be a girl, on JVC's uh, YouTube channel um, about the downloading the firmware. But uh, it works. Um, I figured I'd make a YouTube video um, about it because I spent many hours today trying to figure this out. And when I saw that and tried the different flash drive, it worked. So my advice, either don't download the firmware because I'm not noticing anything different or if you do download it and you have issues, um, try a different flash drive. More of the story. Alright, I'm out of here. See ya.